happened to the sign? What's all this? Cabbage. Somebody got into the cabbage. Probably a giant raccoon. <laughs> 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 You're just a precious little guy, aren't you? Look at you. You like the watermelon? You like the watermelon time? Hey, turn around. Give me. Give me. Hey. hey. Let me pet you. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and today I have a home defense shotgun to show you that is absolutely ridiculous. Let's go check it out and get started. When you think of a home defense shotgun, you probably think of one of two shotguns, the Remington 870 or the Mossberg 500. But today I have a home defense shotgun that most of you have probably never heard of. This monster of a shotgun is the Remington 887 Nitro Mag pump action home defense shotgun. It's basically a Remington 870 on steroids. Most home defense shotguns are chambered in 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch or three inch shells. This behemoth is chambered in three and a half inch shells. Some of its other features are a door breaching muzzle brake, a high vis front sight, an 18 and a half inch barrel. You have a pick rail on top and this thing holds five three and a half inch 12 gauge shells. Most people say that over penetration is a bad thing and in most cases it probably is. But what if I want to defend my home without coming out of my room? Maybe I want over penetration. I don't wanna stick my head out there, that's scary. So today we're gonna to see if the Remington 887 is the proper tool for that job. I'll take it. So I didn't really want to blow a bunch of holes in my walls at home, so I cut out sections of them instead. This is a two foot by two foot section of wall. This is half inch drywall with four inches of insulation in between with two by fours on each side. I'm gonna place targets on one side, shoot through the wall and see what happens to the target when we hit it with three and a half inch shells out of the 887 Nitro Mag. So our first target is gonna be a 16 inch block of clear ballistic gel made by Clear Ballistics. A big thank you to them for sending this over to us. We're gonna set it right here, about two foot away from the wall, shoot through the wall and see what kind of penetration we get. So before we start getting all scientific, I really just wanna shoot this thing and see what it feels like. I'm gonna be loaded up with some three and a half inch double lot buck 12 gauge shells. All right. Let's see what this feels like. Woo! That has definitely got some recoil. Not really enough for my liking, but it'll do. All right, here we go. Who's out there? Oh! Oh! Uh, okay, uh, I hit a little low. The ballistic gel is safe. Let's try again. <laughs> All right, we had a few hit it this time. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, it's quite a bit of penetration. I tell you what, since it looks like I'm hitting low. Let's just go ahead and take one more shot. And I'll just kind of lay it on the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
we go. Here we go. Ah! That's probably a good hit. Oh yeah, that looks way better. <coughs> okay, let's take a look at our clear ballistic gel. We had a good shot that time. And that's quite a few pellets that made it into our block and they almost made it through the whole 16 inch block. I would say that the Remington 887 is definitely producing over penetration. That wall did not do very well at stopping the three and a half inch double lot buck. It peppered it real good and uh, well, what was that? Hit that subscribe button. You know what's just as terrifying as a home invasion? <laughs> Furbies. All right, I have another section of wall. You're about to hear a big sound. Scenario, a Furby has invaded your home. <laughs> I do not want to go into that room. So could I take out this Furby through the wall with the Remington 887? I think I got it. Ruby! Hey! I don't think he's gonna make it. It seems to me the Remington 887 would do a very good job at defending your home against Furbies. But you never can be too sure with Furbies. <laughs> I don't hear you dee doo dee doo dee doo it anymore, are you? Next scenario. There is an alien predator in your house. But you definitely don't want to go out there. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a pretty good grouping right here of our pellets. It definitely blew through the door. An old predator right here took it straight to the chest. Oh! Oh! It's been a while since he's been on the range. He's had some improvements. It looks like his new paint got chipped up a little bit. He took all of those pellets to the left shoulder. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to the science. I have another section of wall and now I have a one gallon container of Grey Poupon. I'm not really sure what this scenario is. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, we had a good hit right here and we had some extreme over penetration. There's poop on the Predator. There's poop on my walls. There's poop on my door. So we've been using the double lot buck for these tests, but now I wanna try out a different load. I have a new section of wall and I have one gallon of tartar sauce. Next, I'm gonna try out some three and a half inch turkey loads. This is number six shot. Okay. We had a very tight group here on our wall. It blew through the wall, but did we have any penetration on our tartar sauce? We did, we did have some penetration. So it looks like we had lots of pellets make it into our tartar sauce. They did not make it through the other side though. So if you're looking for over penetration and optimum performance, 
I don't think turkey shot's the way to go. You know what turkey loads are good for though? Eggplants. Nobody likes eggplants. Okay, I got one more scenario that I want to try. I have a one gallon water jug full of water with food dye, and then I have a one gallon jug of mayonnaise. So we know that the three and a half inch double aught buck shell will make it through one wall and create some damage. But will it still be able to create damage after going through two walls? All right, here we go. Oh! Well, I still got one more shot in there. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, let's take a look at wall one. So we hit here, made it through the back, continued on into the second wall, passed through the back of that wall, and then it looks like we delivered quite a bit of energy to our one gallon water jug. Ugh. Oh, that's just nasty. And the one gallon of mayonnaise. So all jokes aside, over penetration is a thing. And it's something you should definitely take into consideration when defending your home. Get out of my house. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Are there any other unique 12 gauge shotguns you'd like to see on the channel? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. See you next time.